Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is going to be a tutorial on how to root your Nexus 7. I'm also going to show you guys how to uh, install a uh, custom recovery and do a an Nandroid backup. Uh, you will also unlock your bootloader in this tutorial. Uh, first things first, I accept uh, no responsibility for anything that happens to your device. You're doing this at your own risk. There's really not much of a risk since the tool that you're using has an unbrick option as well, but I still say that I take no responsibility. All right, uh, let's get started. Um, plug in your Nexus, make sure it's plugged in, and then go into Device Manager. What you want to do is you want to look for anything that says Android, Portal de Devices, Nexus, or Samsung. Under portable devices, I have the Nexus 7. Just right click on the device and say uninstall. Do the same thing for anything that has Android or Samsung. If it asks you if you want to delete the driver software for this device, select yes and then say OK. And then you can close this. If Windows asks you to reboot, uh, go ahead and reboot. Now close the um, device manager and then you're going to download the Nexus Root Toolkit. I'll provide a link to the download in the description of this video and you're going to install it. Double click it, click run, and just accept the defaults. When it boots up, and the first time, it's going to ask you which model of Nexus you have. Now, you have a Nexus tablet, obviously, but you need to know if you're on Android 4.1 or Android 4.1.1. To check what version your um, Nexus 7 is running, you're going to want to go into Settings. and then go down to about tablet and you're gonna look where it says Android version it's either gonna say 4.1 or 4.1.1 once you know the version number of your Nexus 7 you're going to select it mine was just 4.1 and then click apply now you're gonna click full driver installation guide and then you're going to launch USB DView. What you want to do is you want to look for any device that says Android ADB, Nexus 7, or Samsung. Uh, most of them have the vendor ID of 18D1. All you have to do is select them, right click, and say uninstall selected devices. Click yes when it asks you if you want to uninstall them. Uh, some of the Samsung's devices are 048D, I believe. Um, remove those as well. Once everything's been removed, go ahead and close this and close the um, driver setup as well. And go back into Device Manager. You're going to want to unplug your uh, Nexus 7 and then plug it back in and Windows will try to install drivers. It will install the first two and then you'll get an error saying that the device driver software is not successfully installed. You're going to look for a little explanation point in the other devices category. Just right click on it and say update driver software then click browse my computer for driver software and then click on browse you're going to browse to your, the root of your C drive and then go into WUGS, uh, WUGS Nexus Toolkit go into the data folder and then click on the drivers folder click OK and then make sure you have include subfolders checked and then click next It'll give you, uh, Windows will give you a warning 
um, saying that it can't verify the publisher just say install this driver software anyways and it'll say successfully updated your driver software hopefully you'll have something that says Android ADB interface if you do go ahead and click on close and then close out of device manager again if it does not install the driver um, start from scratch give it another shot I'm sure you'll be able to take care of it and get it done okay now that all the drivers are installed it's time to unlock the bootloader open up the Nexus ROM toolkit again and then click on advanced utilities and select launch and at the very bottom you'll see manual input launch command prompt click on that and then type the following ADB and then put a space and then t type in start and then dash server and press enter and hopefully it says Damon started successfully if it does click on the X and then close out of the advanced uh, utilities now go ahead and select unlock it'll warn you that it's going to unlock your device enabling root and it warns you that everything will be completely wiped I forgot to mention that at the beginning of this video make sure you back everything up that you have uh, once you have everything backed up and you are ready to continue go ahead and click OK and the utility will automatically boot the Android into the bootloader mode it'll also install drivers for the ADB interface again and we will have to accept the warning that um, Google prompts us with to do that all you have to do is use the volume up and volume down rocker on the tablet make sure yes is highlighted and press the power button the Nexus toolkit will take over again it'll reboot the device and you should see a little lock at the bottom that means that your bootloader has been unlocked successfully um, it could take up to five minutes for your um, Nexus 7 to boot up once it does boot up it'll be like it's a stock device you're going to have to log into your Google account okay now it's time to root the device you're going to click on the root button and you want to make sure you have do not flash clockwork mod and just click root it will warn you that it's going to um, boot in and uh, boot into uh, bootloader mode install root uh, install the super user um, APK and uh, it also warns you that you have to make sure that you unlock your bootloader which we already did so just go ahead and click OK and it should reboot your Nexus 7 
Okay, now that the device has been rooted, you're going to go into your app drawer and then you're going to click on the Super SU icon and launch it. It'll say it needs to um, update the binary. Say continue. Then click OK. Now press home. Go back into your app drawer again. Click on BusyBox Free. It'll ask you for super user uh, permissions. Select Grant. Click on the uh, little red X here. Click on the red X again. Select Auto Update Busy Box. Press Close. And then select Install. It'll take a couple minutes. It's going to install everything, update everything you need. And um, we'll be able, from there, we'll just go to uh, the Google Play Store and install Clockwork Mod and we'll have our custom recovery. Okay, it'll tell you it's successful. Click on the red X. and then press the home button. Now go ahead and go to the Google Play Store and then do a search for ROM Manager there's a free version and there's a licensed version I uh, recommend getting the licensed version just to support the author, author. Um, he did a lot of good work for us um, I bought the license and I also bought his clockwork touch recovery. Uh, go ahead and press install. Once uh, ROM manager is installed, go ahead and launch it. Just say OK. Um, it shows his other applications that he has, which is Tether and uh, Desk SMS. Just click OK. Then click on Flash Clockwork Mode Recovery. Select, make sure it says Galaxy, I mean Google Nexus 7 when it asks you to confirm your phone model. And up at the top, it'll start to download the actual uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery and then it'll install it. When it installs it, it'll probably ask you for super user rights. Just select Grant. It'll say successfully flash clockwork recovery. It uh, lets you know that there's a touch re a recovery upgrade um, for our device. I recommend doing it. It's like a dollar ninety nine, I think. Um, just say okay if you want to if you want to um, purchase it or press cancel. If you don't install touch um, the touch version of Clockwork uh, Mod Recovery, you're going to have to use the volume up and volume down and the power button to um, do your selections. Okay, now it's time to reboot into Recovery and do a Nandroid backup. Select Reboot into Recovery. It'll ask you if you want to uh, reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Just say OK. And your Nexus will reboot. And hopefully, you'll reboot into Recovery. OK. Looks like it worked. Now we're going to do a backup. Go to Backup and Restore. Now remember, if you didn't install Touch, you're going to have to use the volume up and volume down and then press the power on the selection I mean to select so we're going to select back up and uh, it's going to back everything up so I recommend going to get a coffee or soda or a beer whatever you want it'll take about five to ten minutes
Okay, once the backup is done, uh, you can select Reboot System now. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's everything. Uh, now I recommend um, going to the XDA developer forums and uh, download a ROM and download a kernel. I prefer Modaco's uh, custom ROM and the Linaro uh, kernels. I especially like the 1.6 gigahertz kernel. Remember when you flash these, there's lots of tutorials online. I'm not going to do the actual tutorial for that. If you guys cannot find a tutorial or don't think they're good enough, let me know and I'll go ahead and do one for you.